Hello and welcome to the video about the paper titled On the Effects of self situation and Contrastive Alignment in Deep Multiview Clustering. So, what we see in current multiview clustering is that there are many new approaches being presented, especially with self supervision based components for representation learning. Uh, one of these is contrastive alignment. Uh, however, we find that there is a lack of direction and consistent advancements in the field, uh, which makes it difficult to conduct future research. In the paper, we prove that contrastive alignment is harmful to cluster separability as the number of views increases. We also present the deep MVC framework with an open source implementation and, and six new instances. Finally, we conduct an extensive experimental evaluation. So the main findings is that our new instances present state-of-the-art performance and that contrastive alignment works well with few views, but not with many views. This is in line with our theoretical findings. This is the outline for the rest of the video. So first we will look at some drawbacks of alignment. We will then go into the deep MVC framework along with the new instances. And finally, we will present our experimental findings. So the main issue of alignment in multi-view clustering is that cluster separability in the representation space becomes dependent on the cluster separability in the worst view. So if you have a view um, that is completely uninformative, the alignment will essentially align all other views to that view, uh, making the representation worse. Um, this happens because the encoders can make clusters overlap, but they, they cannot separate clusters that are inseparable in the input space. Um, and we find that the probability of the existence of a bad view uh, increases with the number of views. So the framework that we present in this paper uh, looks like this. It has uh, view-specific encoders uh, denoted F1 and F2 in this case. It has self-supervision components, both single-view self-supervision and multi-view self-supervision, um, producing representations. Um, and then we have a fusion component that fuses all the view-specific representations into a single representation, which is then clustered by the clustering module. So uh, even though the figure was for two views, uh, the framework can be extended to an arbitrary number of views. Uh, and we also show in the paper that it actually includes many recent methods as instances. Um, and finally, we present an open source implementation, which is available on GitHub. The objective of the new instances of DeepMVC is to investigate the effects of alignment uh, and to also address the drawbacks that we mentioned previously. So uh, with the new instances, we vary several different components, uh, but mainly the self-supervision part uh, and the clustering module. So for self-supervision, we try with both contrastive alignment, uh, mutual information maximization, and an autoencoder-based model. Uh, the clustering modules vary between uh, a deep clustering module titled Deep Divergence Based Clustering uh, and simple k-means. Uh, we also include two very simple baseline models to get a better view of the baseline performance without any self-supervision. In our experiments, we first find that contrastive alignment works well with few views, but not as well with many views, uh, and this is also in line with our theoretical findings. We then find that maximization of mutual information actually works better when you have many views. Um, and we find that dataset properties significantly impact the performance of methods. So this is uh, properties like the number of views, of course, and also uh, class imbalance. Um, then we we show that our new instances outperform the previous methods in the literature, uh, and that and finally we find that all methods benefit from some form of self supervision. So uh, specifically on the alignment, um, in this figure we have a data set with six views, and we add views uh, increasingly from two to six. So the green curve shows the performance of an alignment-based method, and you can see that it actually performs best with uh, three views, 
uh, and the performance actually decreases after uh, adding more views. Uh, this is not the case for the uh, method without alignment, which actually has its best performance when all views are included. Yes. So please come visit our poster and read the paper and check out the GitHub repo with the open source implementation.